Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to my channel. If you like what you find here, please hit like and subscribe and then you'll be notified whenever I post something new. Hi yogis and welcome to class. I am Emily. This is a soft and nourishing yin class and we will be working into our hips and shoulders. And if you have two blocks nearby or something that you can use to prop yourself up, go ahead and bring them now and I'll see you on the mat. So we're going to start off in Sukhasana, but we're going to like an easy seat, but we're just gonna scoop our legs or shins forward just a tiny bit. Really feel that you're grounding down through your sits bones. Start to tap into your breath. Long deep inhales and exhales. And with the next exhale, start to gently fold forward. See if you can fold from your hip. And then it's time to set up your blocks. So find the height of your blocks. You might need both. And then just drop your forehead down. Relax your arms down. Relax into your shoulders. You can lower, find, just find the height of your blocks that, find, that you find suits you right now. Most likely you're gonna straight away feel this in your hip. Feel free to close down your eyes. We're gonna stay here for about three minutes. See if you can deepen the connection to your breath. Use your exhales to really relax down. And to release any tension that you're feeling. Allow yourself to melt down towards the mat. Your sitting bones heavy. Feel that you're Forearms and truly resting on the mat. And just send your breath to any areas of tension. See if you can peel away of that tension, releasing it little by little with each exhale. Are you relaxing into your toes, into your 
into each of your fingers. Let the next inhale start to bring yourself back up, slowly, move very slowly as you get out of the pose, no rushing movements, just very gently get all the way up, bring your knees together, shake it out and then switch out the legs so you bring the other leg in front. Going to do the same thing on the other side. Once again, find the connection down, ground out through your sits bones. Feel into your hips, inhale, and then as you exhale, start to bring yourself back down again. Finding maybe there is a different height that you need on this side. Maybe this side is more open, you can scoot yourself back or bring your feet forward. And once again, find stillness. Maybe place your awareness on the steady rhythm of your breath. Just noticing where in the body you can feel your breath. And notice if there is any little thing, any place where you can still let go and surrender. If you feel that you need more, feel free to just remove any blocks, just the heights. Or if you need the other way, bring yourself up. Be aware of the sensation. There will be sensation, but be aware of your edge, the edge between sensation and pain. Always take a step back. If you feel pain or if the sensation is too intense, but don't be afraid of feeling. Meet the sensation with your awareness. Meet the sensation with your breath. Notice how you release tension with each exhale. And 
now with the next inhale, softly start to bring yourself back up. Remove the blocks. And softly bring your knees together, bring your, the soles of the feet to the mat. Roll out your ankles. Sway your knees a little bit from side to side. And then straighten your legs out to the side. Maybe don't, don't force it. So don't, you don't need to go like your widest apart here straight away. But still feel that you have, you know, there is something going on on the inside of your thighs. And then softly just start to wiggle into it. Find the contact with your sits bones down to the mat just feel your feet your heels to the floor and then softly start to climb forward start not to just start to round the back but see if you can start this fold from the hip to really feel into the inside of your thighs and bring your blocks back and find a suitable height for you. Relax your feet, relax your legs. You might need both of your blocks. You might just need one. Just find, we can bring your, your arms forward, palms down, just as before. Start to settle in, start to surrender. See if you can find a sensation of your chest melting down towards the mat. Feel how it becomes heavy. Lean into the stretch on the inside of your thighs. Maybe all the way out into your feet. And as you start to settle in here, see if you can adjust your block. You might need to just lower it little by little. Lower it down. But with each lower, find your way back into the relaxation. To relaxing your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your feet. Can you feel into your toes right now? Relax them down. softly breathe, begin to make your way back up very softly from here slide your hands in and then manually bring your legs together soles of the feet to the mat shake it out 
and then come to all fours, we're going to keep the blocks. So place your blocks at the top of your mat, about shoulder width apart. And then climb back, so you're in all fours and your knees are straight underneath your hips. And from here, just see if you can find the right place, the right distance towards your blocks, placing your hands on the blocks and then melting your heart down, forehead down. Sitting bones starts to lift up and start to breathe into your chest and your shoulders here. If you feel that your thoughts start to rush away and if you get find yourself getting caught in stories use these longer holds as an opportunity to meditate to place your awareness on your breath and to tap into that inner stillness Feel your chest expand with your inhale and feel it melt down in between your shoulders as you exhale. And now softly begin to lift your head up. Just slide your hands back. I'm going to slide forward onto your belly all the way down and set one block aside. Maybe scoot yourself forward so you stay on the mat. And then this pose, you're going to just Cross your arms in front of you. Really try to cross them as tight as you can. So let for this side, we can let the left arm be on top. And you can snuggle your block a bit closer. And then rest your right temple down to the bottom. You start to feel into your left shoulder. See if you can get the sensation from your wrist pulling your fingertips to your side. Relaxing to your hips, 
that sensation for a bit into everything that you're feeling right now in your shoulders, in your arms. Just let it settle in your body. Let it rush through. And then bring your other arm on top. So, right arm, hold the left, cross it on, and shift the points. Notice any difference. of gravity. in your face? Do you hold tension in your forehead? In your jaw? Or clenching your mouth? What is going on with your tongue? Can you 
you surrender even more. Letting go even more. You exhale, you begin the exit of the pose. Bring your gaze down, slide your arms up. Once again, feel into the rush of sensation through your body. Set the block aside and then bring your left arm out to the side. Bring your left temple down to the mat. Place your right fingertips just underneath your right elbow and then bend into your right knee and then start to roll over to the left. Lift your hip up. And you can stay wherever you end up here. You can keep your fingertips to the floor or mat, or if you want to, you can just bring your hands to your hip. You can bring your hand up and over, see if you can reach your fingertips or place your fingers in between your fingers on your left hand. Or just stay. This can be quite intense. So you might need to use some extra focus and attention into your breath and into relaxing down. This is like a counter pose to the last pose that we did. Now very softly start to roll all the way back onto your belly, straightening your right leg out, chin down, a couple of breath breaths here before we do the other side. Feel into the sensation in your left shoulder and then straighten your right arm out to the side, palm facing down, left fingertips to the mat, bend into your left knee, roll over to the right, right temple down. This is also a nice twist. You can stay here. I like to just keep my and on the hip, gets a little bit of an opening into the other arm as well. It also helps me to 
relax down into the hip and into my legs. So just feel into how you want this pose to be for you today. Once again, remind yourself to relax your face, to allow your head to be heavy. Relax your cheekbones. Maybe widening the space between your temples. Now softly begin to roll out all the way back to your belly. Feel into the sensation. And then gently bring yourself up. You're going to do one last pose for the hips. So step your left foot forward and start to sink your hips down make sure that your right toes are untucked and for this one I also like to actually if you are no matter how far down it maybe you need to have your hands to the mat but I just like to rest my forehead because it takes focus off my neck and the fact that we all need to hold our head up. If you have the space in your body, you might want to climb down to your forearms. But make sure that you're, you allow your chest to sink down. See that you relax your toes and the soles of your feet and start to create space in your hip deep inside your left hip joint on the front side of your right hip Try not to hold tension anywhere else. Even if it's hard. Just use your breath as a flashlight shining on all your areas where you hold tension. Releasing them little by little.
now very softly start to bring yourself back up, come back to your hands and start to slide your left leg back onto all fours do some wiggles feel into the sensation in your left hip maybe in your right hip flexor and then for the last side bring your left foot forward untuck your right no, your right foot forward untuck your left toes rather and see if you can find the same place where you were on the other side so if you were up on your arms prop up allow yourself to be there on this side too and if you were on your forearms try to see if you can bring them down using your exhales to create that melting sensation release any tension from your lips Just notice if your body is resisting. If it doesn't want to let go, if it doesn't want to surrender. Move into that feeling of resistance with your breath and with your mind. very softly bring yourself back up come to your hands if you had your forearms down and slide your right leg back into all fours enjoy that sensation in your hip in your leg and then come all the way down into Shavasana if you want to if you have the time Otherwise, move on with your day, but just step gently away from your mat. Don't rush. Just see if you can bring the stillness that we've created during this class. Just see if you can bring it with you at least for a while into your daily life. Allow your breath to float freely in and out. And emerge into the sensation, into your entire body, the sensation in your shoulders and arms, in your hips, maybe feeling it all the way into your feet and your toes.
Thank you so much for spending time with me today on the mat. I hope to see you soon again. Namaste.